Hello and welcome to She Walks, She Paints. It's another gorgeous day in Scotland. If you are new here, my name's Sarah and I'm gonna be taking you on a walk somewhere in this beautiful country today. And we'll be looking for something to paint when I get back in my studio. So I'll be taking lots of photographs and showing you what I find along the way. Today we've come to a place a little bit further south. We are in North Berwick, which is on the coast again. It's a gorgeous day. It's such a nice day to come down to the beach. We're also gonna climb a hill called Berwick Law. It really stands out from the landscape and it's got loads and loads of history. There's Iron Age remains there and there's a really interesting focal point which I'm really looking forward to seeing for the first time because I've never been up this hill before either. Let's head out and see what we can find today. This small seaside town is North Berwick, so named to differentiate it from the town of Berwick-upon-Tweed, which is further south across the border in England. It became a fashionable seaside resort in the 19th century, and in 2021 it was voted the best place to live in Scotland. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're going this way. North Berwick Law was formed in the last ice age, with the hard volcanic rock withstanding the glaciers that carved through the landscape. The hill dominates the surrounding flat landscape, making it visible for miles around. Its prominence made it a focal point for the ancient inhabitants of this area. The remains of 2,000-year-old dwellings have been found on the side of the hill, and the summit once housed an Iron Age hill fort. We're just about halfway up now. It's an absolutely beautiful evening for the view. Really, really happy. Um, just beautiful blue skies. Gorgeous, sunny, summery day. It has been really, really hot recently in Scotland. Um, I actually think parts of England are officially in drought at the moment, so there's been hardly any rain and it's been a heat wave for Scotland. So it's about, it's about 18 degrees at the moment, but it has been getting up to 27, 30 degrees during the day. For Scotland, that's pretty hot. We're not used to it up here, so um, it's nice just to get out in the evening like we have done today. And it's a bit cooler for Jack. We did also throw him in the sea first, so he is keeping nice and cool. It is super, super dry here. The path is really dry and sandy, and it feels more like a desert or um, places I've been in like the south of Italy. So it doesn't really feel like Scotland at the moment, but it definitely is. <laughs> so let's keep climbing and see what we can see from the top. Thank you. 
the summit of the hill is home to many structures that played a role in its more recent history. This stone building was used as a signal station during the Napoleonic Wars in the early 1800s. Soldiers based here lit a warning fire if they saw French ships trying to enter the Firth of Forth, which would then start a chain of fires on high points across the country. There has been a whalebone arch on the summit of the law since 1709. Possibly the arch was intended to be a landmark visible to sailors, guiding them safely home. The bones were replaced many times since then, with the last real set installed in 1935. However, after 70 years, they were in danger of collapsing, and they were eventually replaced with this replica set in 2008. The replica was cast in fibreglass from the original set of bones and lifted into position by helicopter. The hill must have felt empty without its 300 year old landmark, so I'm glad it was replaced, standing on the summit like a gateway to the North Sea beyond.
the variety of colours you find on ripening blackberries, starting green with the blush of pink, raspberry red turning to deep plum before darkening to that shiny, ripe blue-black colour. They herald the end of summer and the imminent shift into autumn. What do you think? Maybe the people living on this hill thousands of years ago would also have picked the ripe blackberries as a source of sugar and vitamin C for their diet. So you have it, we're just down from the hill. You can see it there behind me, I think. We've been all the way up there and back down again. It's a little bit more sheltered here. It's still quite breezy, but oh my gosh, I felt like I was gonna get blown off the top. <laughs> my hair feels like a bird's nest now because that was so windy at the top, but it was such a lovely view. Really, really nice just taking the surroundings. Even if it was a bit windy, it was still absolutely gorgeous. And we pretty much had the place to ourselves, which was really nice. So it was just a lovely place to experience in the evening. As you might have noticed up on the hill, it was really, really dry and it has been really lacking in rain recently. So while the weather has been lovely, we do need some of that Scottish rain to bring back the greenery. So there wasn't much on the hill to photograph, but down here as we got back down to the path, there's all these signs of autumn starting to show. So we're obviously getting to the end of summer now, mid-August, and all the brambles are coming out, the blackberries, they're starting to ripen, the rowan berries um, and the elderberries, even they are coming out and starting to ripen. So yeah, lots of signs of autumn, which is quite nice. I like seeing the seasons move through. So yeah, a few things there that I think I will take home and have a look at in my photos and see what I want to paint. I also wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you so much to everyone who did wish me happy birthday. That was just a couple of days ago now and I had a really lovely day and it was really, really amazing to see all those lovely messages um, both on my channel and across on Dirty Secrets of Scotland as well. So thank you so much for that. I had a great birthday, lots of celebrations and now it's back to walking and painting. So I hope you enjoyed that walk and I will see you back in the studio to start painting. To get the composition right, I first sketched out the general shape of each blackberry, before going back in and adding the individual details. The tiny spheres that make up each fruit are called druplets, and they each contain a seed. I decided to go straight in with the main colours of the fruits, building up from green to red to black. I will add more shading later, but you can already see the painting take shape here. Make sure to leave the tiny spot of white page on each segment of the fruit. If you paint over that, you lose the shiny quality of the surface of the painting.
I enjoyed painting these fruits close together. If you look closely, you'll see that they are so shiny they reflect the colour of the fruit next to them, so I had to capture that in my painting. The word bramble can refer to any rough, tangled, prickly shrub, however here we specifically use that name for blackberries. British folklore dictates that blackberries should not be picked after Old Michaelmas Day in October, as the devil has sullied them. They used to be planted on graves to stop sheep grazing, but might also have had the more superstitious purpose of keeping the dead in. In my original photograph, the central berry was slightly smaller and out of focus, so I chose to replace it with one from another photograph. I think this gives the painting a better focal point, which draws the eye in. I love the dark pink colour of the bramble thorns. Beautiful to look at, but definitely not good to touch. I enjoyed adding in all the tiny, hairy details to the brambles. It really brings them to life. All my paintings are available as prints on my Etsy store. Purchasing print means that you're helping to support my channel and genuinely helps me keep doing what I love and sharing that with you. You can also support me by liking, commenting or subscribing, following me on Instagram or by donating the cost of a coffee over on Ko-fi. Links to all my pages are in the video description below. There's a car. Excellent. We are also going to climb. No, you can't see it. <laughs> What's he doing? Hello. You're such a long pose there. Sit. Sit.
sit, wait, gentle. Sarah tries not to fall on all the spiky bamboo. Have you ever eaten something you've painted before? <laughs> Chaffinch or something.